from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Welcome back for a story about shenanigans. Hmm, interesting, huh? You're probably thinking to yourself, what does Ghost Cop got up his sleeve today? Well, here's what we got up our sleeve today. We are going to explain... We're not, we're not going to explain the definition. We are going to show an example of the definition of shenanigans. So, about three or four days ago, I got a text message from a very good friend. Someone who I have much love and respect for. St. David uh, Onion. So... Even though Onion's a Clemson fan, you know, I still got some love and respect for him, okay? So we were talking, and he says, hey, I need your uh, address. All right. So I says, can I ask what for? Because I thought maybe he was just sending me something, or if he just wanted it for just to have, because sometimes people like to have them, and then down the road, they surprise bomb you. You know, I, I'm, I've done that. So, um, I get told that I'm, it was wanted by somebody who I truly love and respect. I thought to myself, huh, well, that's odd. So then I thought to myself, this doesn't sound right. This don't sound right. So, morning cup of mud. Uh, so then, I left it at that. So this morning, you know, got up, did my morning routine, went to take the old mad piper outside to go to the potty. So she went to go pee and there was a box on the porch. Well, he wouldn't tell me anything more than it was from somebody that I loved and respected. So then I started to wonder, well, who in the world would that be? Because I know that that list of people who love and respect me is very, very slim. Huh, BQ. Now, the list who loves and respects the old PQ, Piper, that's quite a long list. And I kind of feed off of that list, to be honest with you. So then, I went to pick up the box. Yeah, you guessed it. Old Pops, the codger extraordinaire, got me. <laughs> so we're going to open up the old fire department pipe knife here. I'm going to cut this lightly. Now, I've been giving him hassle about that. He's been wearing a Tennessee hat that's been it's beautiful. And uh, I have been giving him a little flack about it. You know, I gave him flack on his channel, and of course I gave him flack on the five, 5 on Friday when he was our veteran of the week. And um, I don't think that's what this is, though. Well, here's a list. There's a, a list. Yeah, I'm right. Good grief. I need to wake up. Wow, such beautiful penmanship. Golly jeepers. Here you go. Your very own. This is absolutely no reason why... Two fine-looking men shouldn't be fashionably dressed and trimmed out and dapper. <laughs> Wear it with good health and much love, little brother. Old Pops. <laughs> well, guess what? It looks like I got my very own. I got my very own Tennessee hat, folks. <laughs> now, as an Alabama fan, this could be interesting, but... 
I do love Tennessee as well. Uh, I've been to Tennessee a couple of times in my life, and I absolutely love Tennessee. It's a beautiful place. And um, even if you're an Alabama fan like I am, you know, uh, you go to Tennessee, you can't help but fall in love with it. And uh, Tennessee is definitely one of my favorite places to go. So, uh, by golly, I will wear it in good health. And I'll tell you what, son, I will wear it. I guarantee it. Let's see if I need to adjust this rascal just a hair. Oh, look at that. How's that for a dapper look, old boy? <laughs> you know, I kind of like the uh, Tennessee orange, to be honest. That's not a bad looking look there, buddy. I kind of like it. Hey, thanks, old pops. I appreciate it, brother. Um, you are truly one of the best big brothers a person could have. So thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate you. And um, until we can get together and pack a pipe, smoke a great cigar, let all that you do be done in love. Y'all take care and God bless. Go Vols.